Hey guys, so as you can see, I have a special guest and I was talking about this the other day. Literally, when I do videos on my own, I feel like I'm so boring, but then when I'm with Slice, he just like, I mean Matt, he like lights a fire <laughs> in my soul. Wait, I'm not on the Slice and Rice channel, How does so... it feel to be on my channel? Feels weird. I feel like I'm being held hostage. Yo, make sure y'all subscribe to my personal channel. Send a token, you know what I'm saying? Brr. Er, er. Anyways, this is like something I've always wanted to do with you and we just never do it. So it's a great way to start. I want him to read the divisional with me and we want to share our thoughts together on it. Actually, before we get started, I'm going to tell you how this started. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to guess. No. I'm going to show you how it is, yo. I went in here to help fix her YouTube channel and she <laughs> hit me with the, so uh, since you're in here, you should uh, film this video with me. And I'm like, oh. Oh, okay, that was weird. Man, I turned around, everything already set up, man. <laughs> everything, true. yo, she got me. You got me. Whatever. Let's get started. Okay, October 14th. I'll read the first paragraph, you read the second one. <laughs> yeah, all right. Be prepared to suffer for me in my name. All suffering has meaning in my kingdom. Pain and problems are opportunities to demonstrate your trust in me. Bearing your circumstances bravely, even thanking me for them, is one of the highest forms of praise. This sacrifice of thanksgiving rings golden tone bells of joy throughout heavenly realms. On earth also, your patient sufferings sends out ripples of good tidings in ever-widening circles. When sufferings strike, remember that I am sovereign and that I can bring good out of everything. Do not try to run from pain or hide from problems. Instead, accept adversity in my name, offer it up to me for my purposes. Thus, your sufferings gain meaning and draws you closer to me. Joy emerges from the ashes of adversity through your trust and thankfulness. <laughs> I thought I said Thanksgiving. Wow. Uh, okay, wait. Before we go into our thoughts, let's read the Bible verses. So the first one is James 1, 2 through 4. This is my favorite. You know that verse? Yeah, it's basically like whenever you rejoice whenever you have trials. Wait, because... wait, wait. Are you serious? Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. It's good, man. Alright, and Bars. Psalm <laughs> you'll read. 10721. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. And let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving and tell of his deeds and songs of joy. Since you're my guest star, what are your thoughts on today's devotional? And you gotta be like real and honest. Like this channel, no hold bar. Like I'm honest. Okay. You gotta use real life examples. <laughs> All right, okay, damn. <laughs> let me, can I reflect on my thoughts? You, you being very hard. Wait, what, what are we using this space for? I put the, the you want there. You just wanna show off this. <laughs> yeah, that too. All right. So for me, I think that's really cool, especially when you're going through bad times in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because that just shows that it happens to everybody. It rains on the good mm -hmm. and the bad. And I think mm -hmm. that verse reflects more on your mindset. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And he's just reminding us to keep a mindset even when we go through these bad things. And if we continue to keep this positive mindset in uh figure out a way how we could thank God in those hard and troubling times, I think it makes God proud mm -hmm. and very happy because he's like, yo, dang, like this person ain't only thinking of, of me when I do nice things for him, but I think they're thinking of me even when the hard times stuff. So I, that person, that person will have a special place in my heart just because they think about me. Oh, and that, hey. you ain't gone, why you get happy? <laughs> <laughs> um, so when I, when I read those things, like in my personal life, I don't want to get too personal. I went no, through no some, holds bars. Nah, no. this is I'm holding this bar. I went through something that was very, very rough and troubling. Can I say something? What? This should be a story time for Slice and Rice one day. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. I went through something <laughs> very rough and troubling in my personal life. And through all of this, you know, immediately, I'll be honest, when it happened, I'm like, dang, why me? But then after I was able to gather my thoughts in this very long and troubling process, I was just, my mindset changed. I was like, yo, whatever bad thing that's happened in my life, 
I know God can get me out of it. And I'm going to thank God and just continue showing my love to God because I'm letting him know that I trust him to handle whatever I get. So I think when you hear thankfulness, be thankful. You know what I'm saying? I just think that that you feeling like you're thankful because you know you're going to get out of it because God's going to do it. It's not no fake like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm scared. But it's like, no, you're thankful because you. we have this cool, cool asset that not a lot of people have who don't believe. You know what I'm saying? I hate to look at it like a superpower, but it's just like, yo, kind of is. we are blessed in that aspect to be able to put trust in someone who will take care of us even when we mess up or we don't mess up. It's just mm -hmm. bad things happen. So. I like what you said because it reminded me of what a pastor said when we went to the service once at the rehab center. He said, um, if you're, if you need a ride from someone and you call your friend and you say, hey, like I need a ride to this place, my car broke down, can you drive me? And they say, yeah, sure. You thank them before they even do it. You'd be like, okay, thanks. See you soon, right? You thank them before they even do it because you have faith that they will come through and give you a ride. In the same way, when even when we don't know the outcome of something that we want to do or that we want to, you know, go after, we should already thank God. Like, already thank God before something even happens because we should have faith that He will deliver. I love that. I also love this devotional because I'm a huge... Um, there's not going to be anything there. Oh, I thought you were just going to have words here. <laughs> but um, I'm also a huge believer in, um, I love what it says here. You might be able to do the hand thing here. Do not try to run from pain or hide from problems. Instead, accept adversity in my name, offering, up to, offering it up to me for my purposes. I cannot tell you how much I love that because a lot of people think when they have a problem, they should not think about the problem and run away from it, swipe it on, sweep it under the rug. But I actually watched this video from Sadie Robertson. Um, she's from Di Death Di Dynasty, I think. She was like one of the daughters. But um, she has this channel and she was talking about when you have problems, don't run away from them. Um, confront them, like look at them face to face. Like almost if like, let's just say jealousy is your issue, right? So think of like jealousy as a person. You gotta look them straight in the eyes and be like, you don't own me, <laughs> I own you. Why do I feel jealous? Um, you would say that to someone you're jealous of? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm oh. saying think of the word jealousy. Yeah. Think of it as a person. Oh. Don't avoid them. <laughs> like, don't like sweep them under the rug. Look at them in the face and tell them like, hey, like, why do I feel jealous? Why do I feel well, you? Why are you like a part of me? Like, I need to confront you so that we can part ways instead of just like avoiding them because they're going to follow you back. Like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just talking, like... Well, I feel like jealousy is more of, like, insecurities of one's own self. The only reason you would be jealous is because you're upset that someone has something that you Okay, want. that was just an example. Any issue that you have, just, like, confront it, talk to God about it, be like, hey, why do I really feel this way? How can we get over this together? Like, I am totally feeling this emotion right now. I'm, I'm totally feeling the struggle. I'm so mad right now. Like, tell God how you feel. Like, get mad. Get angry. Don't try to act like it's okay. Because then when you suppress that, it just, like, like a balloon, like, pops. Like, it's too much. Filled yeah. too much air. So, I'm a huge believer in confronting your problems. And I've done that before. I've dealt with a lot of anxiety. And, like, instead of, like, swiping it under the rug, um, I've actually told God before, like, no, I need to get rid of this. And the only way I'm going to get rid of this is to really talk about it and dive deep into why I'm so anxious. And then once I do that, it's like, it feels like a weight has been lifted off. So, oh, yeah. look at you. Yeah. Oh, no, but I like today's devotional. That was good. That was really good. Shouldn't we do this every day on the phone? <laughs> Well, that's the end of this episode, <laughs> folks. Please, I really want to do something uh, like this with you every day. Uh, uh, well, we will when we get married. Really? Oh. Yeah, we we'll probably do some fun stuff. I, I cannot wait to get married. Oh, by the way, this is my fiance. They oh, should, my, I'm should, like, yeah, my like, no one know knows. They should know who I am, man. Y'all know who I am. But yeah, if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link in my description. Because I'm trying to be a YouTuber. Yeah. Yo, make sure you put that that make that like an affiliate link so when they buy we get paid we i mean you get paid <laughs> anyways let me know if you liked having a guest on here 
<laughs> sorry. When I have like friends over, if I see friends and they just happen to be over and I haven't filmed a devotional, I'm, I'm gonna ask them if they wanna be part of the video. Man, they gonna be some long videos. I know, know, especially with some of my friends who've been talking for hours. Um, yeah. Why, like why, why, why everybody in stuff like, um, yeah. Just say peace. See, I'm so much more fun with you. <laughs> say bye. Bye, uh, Glory's channel. Bye, ninjas that decided to subscribe to my fiance and not me. <laughs> I'm, I'm still bitter about that. Subscribe oh, wait, that Tokyo. way. Oh, that's jealousy. See, you have something that I want. You have something that I want, and I'm upset that I don't have it.